Let's talk about some of the other opportunities in terms of replacement that were lower hanging fruit for us. Um, we were starting to introduce, um, this is for, you mentioned Presto and a couple of slides before. Um, that CMS was actually starting to move into the mean stack. So they had, outside of this cloud strategy thing, they were looking to modernize their application stack within that CMS and they were looking to transition into Node.js as their primary technology stack, so they looked at the mean stack. Uh, the mean stack, for those who are not aware, is basically the combination of MongoDB, ExpressJS, Angular, and Node.js. This is what the acronym effectively stands for. Um, when they introduced the mean stack, um, naturally everything they were doing was back-ended by Mongo, so they were pushing a lot of data for um, the application of what we just call Presto itself into that space. Um, what we started to talk to them about was transitioning um, the stuff that's in Mongo into Couchbase as part of sort of unifying and consolidating some of sort of the operational workload, if you will, within that space because there's challenges with using, using Mongo in that space. Um, and most of it has to do with being able to be highly available. So Presto should run in every region um, that, we have, that we have inside of the cloud. So if we're running it in the equivalent of like four AZs and Amazon, for those of you who are familiar with the concept of running it sort of in four places, we want to be able to run it the exact same way everywhere without any kind of weird restrictions, and everything should replicate between the regions cleanly. Um, that was a hard thing to do with Mongo, the MongoDB setup that we had, especially when it came into things like user sessions and stuff like that. It was a little bit of a challenge. So <laughs> we started to move uh, those things, the application settings for Presto, um, as well as a module that's referred to as workflow planning, which basically is sort of like an automation workflow tool. It's a visualization tool uh, for editorial workflows uh, out of uh, MongoDB into Couchbase. So um, the, end, the end result will be that we'll have literally all the things that were part of the M in mean stack inside of a, a Couchbase stack. We're not moving it to another kind of like keen stack. I know there's a keen stack concept um, that exists, but uh, we're not moving into a keen stack. We're just moving into cal space using uh, calls directly to the API. Um, what, were the, like, what were kind of the reasons for wanting to get off of MongoDB? I'm dealing with a lot of folks who want to switch everything over to Meteor, so I have to have some gotcha. power for, that, for Mongo. <laughs> um, the, the biggest reason for, it had to do with scale out, really, is the biggest thing. So. Um, I find that, generally speaking, Mongo is really popular with developers because there's all this stuff that is built around it. Um, and it is very easy to integrate with. Um, but the problem is once you have it in production and you want to run it like scaled out, it, it's kind of hard, right? There's like the Mongo S, Mongo D kind of paradigm. And once you start pairing those things together to start doing replication and working across data centers with failovers and everything's active, for example, um, it becomes a lot harder um, to do than working with like a Couchbase. Um, 